The last decade has seen development of powerful new biotechnologies that are at the same time astounding, encouraging, and pretty scary. Cloning, gene editing, gene drives, these tools can stop us from getting sick, clean up the environment, and make our food taste better. But they can also create things that feel decidedly unnatural, like corn with embedded bacterial genes and chickens that glow in the dark. For some, a future filled with human-modified plants and animals is bleak. Engineered mosquitoes that can't transmit disease and microbes that chew up our trash might benefit us, but creating them feels wrong. This nervous narrative assumes that people have only just begun to meddle with nature. History, however, tells a different story. In studying the past, we learn that the plants and animals today are as we made them, shaped by both evolution and human intent. Today, our power to change species is greater than it ever has been, but we are also different. We have a much deeper understanding of biology. We have the capacity to evaluate risk, to communicate across cultures, and share economic burdens. Crucially, we also have tens of thousands of years of experience manipulating nature with the same motivation as today, to create plants and animals that more efficiently do what we want them to do. Thank you.